Oh, hello. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? That's Lionel Richie for anyone that doesn't. I'm Natasha Gates. Hello. Welcome to my channel. Thank you subscribers for coming by again to hang out with me. I'm all by myself and I'm lonely. So I have a few things to share with you. And no, I'm not pregnant with my sixth child. <laughs> um, let's talk about the clothes. So this shirt is so cool. I love this shirt. And it was $12 like 12 years ago at the store named Dots, like D-O-T-S. I don't know if anyone remembers this store. I don't know if it's still around, but it was like everything was like always $10 or like around that range. And I got super lucky with this shirt because it looks super expensive and it actually has like metal eyelets and everything. And it's so comfortable. And I think if it were on market today at a store, it'd probably be like 40 bucks. So I still, I always keep my clothes and I urge everyone to keep their clothes because you never know how much money you're going to make off of a certain thing like 20 years from now. So younger people listening, keep your clothes. Just keep them. All right. And the other top that I have is this. This is a Killstar item with my favorite little detail here. As everybody knows, it is the inverted pen pentagram. Not pen, pen ma 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 gram. not a mammogram, but a, an inverted pentagram. It's the unfriendly way to say hi. This top is called the Bloodlust shirt, I believe. I'm digging for the tag. Eh. Yeah. It's right here. Jaded strap top. I was wrong. Jaded strap top in blood tartan. You're like, what the fuck is tartan? It's not tuna tartar. It is tartan, meaning like checker print. Um, I got it in a medium because I have large boobs. And no, I would not be able to wear this shirt without a shirt underneath it. And I think it looks pretty cool on top of, of clothing. But I think this needs to be tucked in. So like, and yes, I am wearing my yoga pants. And here's the back of it. So it's, a, it's an open back. It has a zipper back there. So, unless you're a big busted small person, order a size small. This is a size medium. The only reason why it's medium is because I need the extra space up here in the bung bung area. I believe in Korean, um, they call boobs yubongs or like bung bungs. Does anybody want to correct me? So what's in my hand? <laughs> I've been like playing with this. This is a uh, Stila. Beauty Boss Lip Gloss um, in the color Pink Slip. And I've been like kind of uh, wondering what I think about it. It has like this kind of an applicator on it. It smells vanilla-y, but it has like a perfume aftertaste, which is really bothering me. So I'm trying my best not to like uh, pay attention to the smell, which is really hard. But... It has like an opal essence to it and it has like a decent um like staying power i guess and i think the coolest thing about it is that it's made in the usa yeah so if you want to support your fellow workers here in the u.s or if you're not from the united states and you don't care about us buy it anyway if you like it. Um, I don't think there's anything great about it. Um, I'll give you a close up of my lips, 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 and my dry skin from yesterday. 
Look at that. That's because I'm out of my exfoliator. I'm out of it. And my eyes are completely like gone, puffy, whatever. So I just put on some more brown eyeshadow just to make myself kind of look like a zombie. So this is my zombie apocalypse look. So like this is what would happen if I woke up and there's like a bunch of zombies at my door. I would do like the side ponytail because if I put it in the back of my head, I'll get a headache. I'm going to do the Heidi Klum bangs, but I can't obviously look like Heidi Klum. I mean, how's that? No, not a very good one. She's way prettier. Um, so here's me again, Natasha Gates with you. Thanks for listening to my introduction. It was probably really lame for you. And I, I feel your pain. That's probably why I don't have any friends. But let's get to the meat of this video. Don't you love when professors say the meat of the material? It's like all you can think about is like your favorite thing to eat. Whether it be tofu or steak, I don't eat beef. So I'm not thinking about beef. Something happened today. So I get an email from Killstar and they're like, your shipment has now arrived and I gotta wipe this stuff off. Gotta find something to wipe this off with. Hold on. I'll use my scrub shirt. <laughs> I can't take the smell of this anymore. For nose sensitive people, this this lips lip gloss the boss beauty boss lipstick by stila it's like it turns into like a very fragrant perfume smell and it's it's like making my nose run so just put that out there if you're allergy sensitive don't buy that stuff so anyway killstar sent me a an email and if you remember when I was like reviewing one of my Killstar hauls or something or a product I was complaining about the packaging and I wanted my black bags back well this was on my porch so I gotta cover up my address for those people who either want to kill me or stalk me or kidnap me yeah so I have my black bag that I was complaining about and I'm wondering if anyone else is getting black bags or if they just heard my complaint. I'm not sure. I'm not like one of those high profile YouTube people. I'm just like a random person who just loves Killstar. So maybe it's just coincidence. Maybe not. But let's see what's in the bag, shall we? And yes, I waited for you, every one of you, to open it with. I could have been selfish and opened it up and then reopened it like most people do, but I'm not. And it is Scarlet because I had told you I was obsessed with Scarlet stuff from Killstar. Let's see. This is the Milady Lace Up Top. And I already did a review on those, which I actually have the other one right here, but I ordered a small. The Milady top does not have stretch to it because it's a fitted shirt. And I failed to read the description before I bought it. So I bought a large instead of a medium. So I jumped up a couple sizes. So let's see what the large looks like. If anybody wants help with sizing, let's do it now. Cause I'm gonna take this item off here, which you can see. And that is the jaded strap top in blood tartan. I recommend this. This is really comfortable by the way. Um, and we're going to put this shirt 
which is the Milady top in large and see how it fits on large bust. So I'll say it again, I wear a 34G cup bra. I have a small waist, I wear a size three. So because this shirt is fitted, it might just work out for me. But otherwise, I would, I've would i never ordered a large shirt in my whole entire life. I've never ordered large, never. Unless it was like a girl's large pair of pants, which is like a size 12 in girls, because I'm short. Now this is looking like a regular small. Like if you were to go to like TJ Maxx or something or maybe Kohl's in the woman's section, this would probably be considered like a small medium. All right. So you see how it's fit? It's fitted right here. Let's see what it looks like on. Um, the small, I couldn't even get it over my arm. So this shirt runs small. And this is what the shirt is called. Can you see? All right. It's like a rebirth. I'm being born again. Ah, and the cervix is opening. I know you're like, what the hell's wrong with this girl? Oh, look at that. I just said that in a Southern voice. I'm not even Southern. Look at this. Oh yes, it fits for the grace of all Lord. See, see it's fitted at my waist and it accentuates my hips. Did I say accentuates? I did. And I can control the top. Look at that. I can have cleavage if I want in there. In that little keyhole. Let's see what it looks like behind. I kind of had a, a bigger butt than I've ever had in my life. It's probably because I've been sitting on it for a really long time. I type and I do homework for about 10 hours a day. So I think like my ass is actually expanding. <laughs> it's pretty funny. But I always got made fun of for having no butt, but, but, but I do have a butt now. Problem. What am I supposed to do with all this? I can't cut it because these are, these are seamed at the ends. What am I supposed to do with this stuff? That's an issue. It goes all the way down to my, my feet, like literally.